Hi everyone, welcome back to the one for all Continuing the sorting topic, we are going to see now how to solve the problem we introduced in the previous video. So imagine that after one year, everybody sorting the mangas automatically by price, because this is what you defined in the compare to, you suddenly want to change and now you would like to sort by title. So how can we do it? Java provides two ways of sorting mechanism. One, through comparable. Basically, uh, everybody using this uh, comparable is uh, the classes defined by Java. For example, the collections.sort, they will automatically call the compare to. But we have another option. In case you would like to use something different from what you defined as default, you have another interface called comparator if i can comparator where are you there we go so basically the comparator interface will provide one method that's called compare that will do exactly the same thing as the compare to is doing and you can see basically the rule is exactly the same but how we use it is a little bit different so first thing you are never going to implement comparator uh, right here you could uh, but it's not ideal uh, we can do it in a different way for example let's create here a class because whatever we are going to do we need an object that passed the test is a comparator now class and let's call this manga by let's say title comparator and the same thing we need to give the type that we are going to compare manga okay we know you're creating this class uh, right here and what should we do with this class first we have to provide the method that we are obliged to provide implementation the compare now the compare is a method that will do the same thing as the compare do is doing inside the manga class but inside the manga class we have access to the object that is the class itself the this and the one coming as argument in our case we want to compare two mangas in the comparator but we are not inside the class manga so we don't have access to that object anymore that's why we have manga1 manga2 now i want to compare by title i just have to do the same thing as i did before i decide what kind of attribute i'm going to compare manga1.compare actually i could use the compare2 uh, from manga1 but we would be doing the same thing so i want to do something different i want to get a title and compare to manga to dot get title now we have a couple ways of doing this let's copy this part and let's add it here if you take a look at the collection dot sort you realize that this is overloaded and we have another argument here that is a comparator now i just need to new manga by title comparator and control shift f10 the last one is sorted by title so this one is sorted uh, is not sorted is by the order of uh, the index in this case we didn't change so it's the insertion order the second one is by price and the third one using our comparator is through comparing through title now that is a better way to do it i think it was introduced on java 8 if i'm not wrong that instead of calling collections of sort mangas and the comparator you can call mangas and then you have a sort inside that's asking for exactly the same comparator and it will do the same thing but let's say cleaner control shift f10 and we have exactly the same result now let me check uh, when was this introduced yeah 
from Java 8. It was not possible before because we didn't have the default as we spoke in the interfaces video. So basically, this is probably what you are going to do if you have to provide a specific sorting mechanism. Uh, in this case, we are going to sort by title, but in real cases, you could be sorting by different things. So you have your original default sorting that is, in this case of Manga, the price. And then every time you want something different, you will provide a comparator for that. Well, that is better ways to do it. Uh, you could use a anonymous class or functional programming, but we don't know those yet. So for now, we are going to create a full class in our file. So let's continue because there are more interesting stuff in the next video. Bye.